Hello everyone, I'm Sukhpreet and I welcome you on my channel Learn English with Sukhpreet. In this video, I'm going to discuss notice writing. The purpose of a notice is to give information to those who belong to an institution or organization. A notice is always displayed at a prominent place, usually on a notice board, where everyone can see it. As with all compositions, notice writing for notice writing you should take care of the following points format content and language so let's get started are you planning to write a notice if you do you should follow the checklist and the checklist is first of all name of the organization or the issuing agency is written and then we write the word notice in all caps. Then suitable and catchy heading is given. Heading should be such that the reader comes to know from the heading itself what the notice is all about. Then date is given and then contents in 50 words only, not more than that. Don't forget signature and designation and respect the word limit that is 50 words only format in one go name of the organization or issuing agency in the center of the page then notice again in the center of the page then suitable title you can underline it then leave a line and put date in this format only 22 may 2020 Contents 50 words only and contents must include what, what the notice is about, when, where, who and all the necessary details in case the notice is talking about some celebration or program. So when that program is scheduled, where that program is scheduled, who to contact, whom to contact in case of queries and all other necessary details are given. Then leave a line, put signatures and name and designation of the person who's issuing the notice. Let's understand it better with the help of this example. You are Suresh or Surili, librarian of ABC School Patna. Now the name of the organization is ABC School Patna. The one who is to issue the notice is Suresh or Surili and the designation is librarian. Now draft a notice to inform the students about what? read and share activity in when necessary details what it is what is it read and share activity when is it time and where would it happen and who etc all these details should be mentioned so let's see abc school partner name of the organization then notice and see the title read and share activity from the title itself it is clear that the notice is going to tell us about read and share activity then leave a line 22 May 2020 date and see it is to inform the students of class 10 that read and share activity is scheduled on 30th May 2020 timings 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. venue auditorium. It is a must to participate in this activity and each student should come having read either a novel or novella to participate in this activity and then leave a line, signature, name and designation. This is how a notice is written. You can take a click of it for future reference. Now see, notice writing is asked for four marks in class 11th and 12th CBSE curriculum and the language of the notice should be simple clear and formal language take care of the following format content and language now another example you are ravi dube activity in charge abc school patna organization abc school patna ravi dube name activity in charge designation draft a notice to inform the students about what gk quiz invent necessary details and see how it goes abc school patna notice and see the title it's about gk quiz 22 may 2020 it is to inform the students of classes from 6 to 10 that the gk quiz will be conducted on 28 may 2020 
the students who qualified the preliminary round can only participate in it. The names should be registered at the school reception on or before 25 May 2020. For more details, contact the undersigned. Now see, this notice answers all the questions. What GK quiz? When? 28 May 2020. Who to contact? Ravi Dubey, the activity in charge. Where to submit the details? School reception. When to submit? On or before 25 May 2020. Who can participate? The students who qualified the, prelim uh, the preliminary round. So this is how a notice should be given. The notice should be given. So herein, don't write signature. Rather, put signatures like Ravi Dubey. The signature should be put. So this is how a notice is written. Now don't, don't use any person like I, you, he, she, etc. Don't forget to enclose the notice in a box. So it is a must that you should remember. You, you must have gone through the examples which I've shared in this video. Both the examples, I did not use any person. I did not use you, I, and we, and he, she, or it. So these persons are not to be used. The language of the notice should be formal. No informal language at all. And at the same time, it's a must that your notice should be enclosed in a box. So don't forget to enclose notice in a box. Can you try writing one now? And for your practice, I've given these three notices. First one. You are Kesa or Kesari, coordinator of ABC School Patna. Draft a notice to inform the students about Children Day program. Invent necessary details. You are Kesa Kesari, principal of ABC School Patna. Draft a notice to inform the students about summer camp. Invent necessary details. You are Kesa Kesari, principal of ABC School Patna. Draft a notice to inform the students about remedial classes. Invent necessary details. So these are the three notices which I'm giving you for practice. That's it in this video. For more such videos, subscribe my channel that is Learn English with Sukhpreet and hit the bell icon to receive latest updates. Stay safe, be happy. Thank you so much. Keep watching, keep learning.